guys? It's me, Michael Stalwalt. So today we're going to be looking at GTA 5. So this is going to be one of the upcoming games along with Overwatch and Black Ops. This will be a cool one. This will be the first game that has to do with real violence instead of fictional violence. Alright, so I wanted to, I wanted to tell you guys that this game is restricted. Mostly for ages 16 and up. Technically it's for 17 and up, but... A 16 year old can just install, you don't need, you just need parents permission if you're under 18. So we're going to be looking at this cool looking game. So the point is to steal cars. So if we steal them, it's probably the main point in the game. So the original edition was announced on October 25th, 2011. The game's first trailer was released on November 2nd, 2011. The game was originally for a spring 2013 release before being delayed until November 17th, the same year. Then on July 15, 2013, Rockstar, the creator of this game, announced that the Japanese release date for the game October 10, 2013, almost a month after it was released in the Western world. The Enhanced Edition was released on June 9, 2014, with pre-orders made available on June 10th. So it's basically, so basically the game is all new, all right? It was new back then, so it involves every mechanic that was in the previous Grand Theft Auto game, which is the, the game we're going to do, Grand Theft Auto V. As far as driving goes, the vehicle has been greatly improved, with Rockstar running more complex physics on them, such as making some cars hold to the ground slightly better. The driving mechanics feel more like a racing game, particularly the Midnight Club series compared to Grand Theft Auto IV's rocky boat-like handling system. Uh, we don't need to read all that. So there's a lot of these cool vehicles, basically. All right, let's read it. Grand Theft Auto V has more vehicles than any other Grand Theft Auto game in date. With a variety of vehicles including aeroplanes, not the right way how to spell airplanes, helicopters, cars, utility vehicles, emergency service vehicles, motorbikes, and jet skis. Players are able to fly planes, which was a cut feature from Grand Theft Auto 4 because of the limited size of the map. But the feature is now available in Grand Theft Auto V because of a much larger, more open map. There are also submarine some submarines that players are able to use to explore the depths of the Pacific Ocean. I almost said submachine because I was thinking Fortnite. Alright. The Rhino from previous Grand Theft Auto title has returned, including a more complex aiming system and a realistic dip depiction of a tank. The new feature also allows the player to roll over a vehicle when the car is flipped upside down. Alright, let's look at the next feature because we're not going to read all that. So businesses from Grand Theft Auto 4 reappear. New businesses also appear, such as the Buckstar's Pest Control Company, specializing in fumigation, the Pest Restaurant, we already know that, Up and Adam Burger, the option to eat takeaway food from outlets such as Burger Shot is no longer available. So the players can only buy drinks from various vending machines across the map. All right. So there's a lot of weapons. The game features a lot of weapons like the Nor... Norin's Norinco, Norinco type two fit sixty assault rifles with sound suppressors, non flashlights, olive drab, polymer furniture, and side folding stocks. I'm not gonna read all these weapons. These are a little bit too much, more than Fortnite. In the game, the player has the option to customize the three protagonists' wardrobe and appearance. There's less customization available compared to that of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. E.g. changing the body mass of the figures is available, as well as the Carl Johnson in San Andreas. The, the, the ability to tattoo parlors, the ability, the availability of tattoo parlors, barbershops, and ability to apply and remove facial hair is returned from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas after being missing from previous tiles in the HG universe. So yeah, it's basically just violent. All right, you can download these online. So yeah. This is what the game is mostly about. There's some features, lobbies. So there's some hobbies from the in the Rockstar page. Not there, the, they're not on the to achieve 100 competition completion of the game. So let's read some of these: stunt, playing, time trials, shooting range, street races, tennis, golf, darts, strip, strip club. That's um, I don't think I should put that on YouTube. If I see a strip club, I'm not going to do that. Strip clubs are not appropriate for you to do. Trial, trial thon, off of races, bail bond, arms track clicking air, arms track clicking ground, hunting, flight schools, sea races, yoga, parachute jumps. There's some trailers here for all the Grand Theft Auto 5. We're not going to do all these due to copyright.
So there's some PC versions too. So let's look at some of the features. Vehicles. Alright, so there's some new ones like the Dukes, the Stally, Stallion, Blista Compact, Marshall, Duco Death, Go Go Monkey Blista, Kraken, Dodo, and Zero Blimp. So here's some additions I've not built with all players, including the Hot Knife. Nah, let's start that. The two new weapons exclusive to players who have played the original edition, Hatchet and Railgun. There's new dog breaks too, especially there's some such as Husky, Pug, Poodle, West Highland Terrier, and Border Collie. There's some new animals including killer whales, kitty cats, my favorite animal, hammerhead sharks, dolphins, rabbits, stingrays, and whales, blue whales. New weather effects, there's a lot of new stuff here. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the pilot. Anyway, if you guys like this, I will smash that like button. And once I get the game, I will can start production. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.